The Donald Trump veep stake search certainly isn't playing out in secret. It's kind of more of a yes reality show. The television cameras are there as Trump and his kids and his son-in-law go to Governor Mike Pence's home in Indiana. Uh, all the contenders now having these meetings, giving these speeches, making their final pitches. So nominally, as I'm speaking to you now, this could change any second, uh, it is down to three, Mike Pence, Chris Christie, Newt Gingrich. Uh, based on my reporting and analysis, I think it is kind of coming down to Christie and Pence. It's not that uh, Trump doesn't love Newt Gingrich, who had his uh, Fox News contributorship agreement temporarily suspended by the network as this thing plays out, but he is 73 years old, brings a certain amount of baggage from his days as a House Speaker uh, and other times in his life, and I don't think he's going to get the nod. Now, here's the dynamic I see between Christie and Pence. I mean, if Trump uh, went with his heart. He would obviously pick Chris Christie. They are friends. They have known each other for 12 years. My sources say that Christie made that point, that he is very loyal in his pitch to Trump, and said that he will be an attack dog against Hillary Clinton. Now, some people say, well, Trump doesn't need an attack dog because he's the attack dog. He's the guy with the sharp teeth. He does a pretty good job of blam basting the former Secretary of State every day. But here's what a lot of people miss, according to some insiders I've talked to, which is, if he had Christie on the ticket, and Christie was um, kicking the stuffing out of uh, Hillary Clinton, then Trump wouldn't need to do it as much. He could act more presidential. He could read policy speeches. Obviously, he will criticize uh, his opponent, but it takes some of that burden off him. Mike Pence, very different, much more low-key personality, traditional conservative, Midwestern governor, uh, also a guy who... Um, would be getting out of a tough re-election fight if he signed on with Trump, which would help him win or lose because then he could run for the White House in 2020. But there is very little chemistry between Trump and Pence. Uh, Pence is just not Trump's kind of guy. Uh, he doesn't quite fit his brand, but maybe he doesn't do much harm. And so Trump is getting a lot of advice, uh, perhaps to pick Pence. Other people think that, well, Christie brings his own baggage, although Christie went through the vetting process, and the vetters for the campaign believe that the Bridgegate scandal will, won't hurt him additionally at this point. Certainly the media will revive it, uh, because after all the investigations, it's unlikely that anything new is going to come out. So it's kind of a classic choice. Does Trump pick the guy he'd like to hang out with for the next four years, or does he pick somebody who would help unify the party? Uh, Pence is liked by the more traditional conservatives in the Republican Party. But after all, Trump's been running against them. They're not exactly embracing him. A lot of them aren't even showing up in Cleveland. Uh, so I think within the next 24 to 36 hours, we will perhaps get a signal, a sign. Maybe does Trump, uh, excuse me, does Pence leave Indiana to go somewhere and meet with, with Trump? I won't be surprised if either of these guys gets it. But this is probably the most important decision that Trump will make, not because the running mate is so important, but because it will show the American people, maybe some of whom may be very wary of Donald Trump, how he goes about making a presidential level decision.